Hello mga kawamat, sa video lesson na to, we will discuss about solving problems involving sampling distribution of the sample mean. But first, okay, kailangan natin mapamilyarize yung formula na gagamitin natin. So ito gagamitin natin kapag yung problem is dealing with an individual data obtained from the population. So madali nating ma-identify na ito ang gagamitin natin kapag ang problem walang given na sample mean. So, kapag walang given na sample mean, ibig sabihin, ito yung uh, gagamitin natin formula. Pero, kapag uh, using the Z-distribution, ito ay dealing with the data about the sample mean or N observations. So, ibig sabihin, class, kapag yung problem natin, meron siyang given na sample mean, so ito yung gagamitin natin formula. Okay? Okay, for example, number one. Okay, problem number one, the average time it takes a group of senior high school students to complete a certain examination is 48.2 minutes. The standard deviation is 4 minutes. Assume that the variable is normally distributed. Okay, so what is, okay, for question number one, what is the probability that a randomly selected senior high school student will complete the examination in less than 45 minutes. So first, write the given data. So yung population mean natin dito is 48.2. Okay. And then, uh, the population standard deviation is 4. And our uh, x value is 45. So wala tayong, uh, dito walang binigay na sample mean. So therefore, Ang formula na gagamitin natin is, so ang pinapahanap is yung uh, probability ng x na less than kay 45, less than sa 45 minutes. So therefore, uh, yung formula to be used is using this one. Okay? So ito lang yung formula na gagamitin natin. Therefore, to compute the uh, probability nito is to substitute the given data on the formula. And that is 45 minus 48.2 over 7 that is equivalent or equal to negative 0 0.46. Okay, so yung save value natin is negative 0.46. So para makuha natin uh, yung probability nito ng negative 0 0.46, so gagamitin nyo yung z-table nyo. So gamit yung z-table nyo, Ang uh, negative 0 0.46, the area corresponding sa negative 0 0.46 is 0 0.1772. So again, yung corresponding area ng negative 0 0.46 is 0 0.1772. So pwede nyo i-check yan using your Z table. Okay, so kapag green up natin, so mula dito, kasi... Mula dito, so this is uh, negative 0.46 since less than, so papuntang left side yung graph natin. So, paano natin kukunin? So, ano kayong area na less than sa negative 0.46? And that is 0 0.3228. So, ibig sabihin class, yung area na nakuha natin na 0.1772 minus natin kay 0.5. Diba ganon kapag uh, less than tapos negative ang z value natin, ima-minus natin yung area from 0.5. So, 0.5 minus 0 .1 point, uh, 0 0.1772, the area is 0 0.3228. And that is, uh, therefore, uh, the probability that a randomly selected senior high school student will complete the examination in less than 45 minutes is 32.28%. Okay, so ganun lang, ah, ganun lang siya kababa, no? Yung chance na ah, makatapos yung senior high school students within 45 minutes, 32.28% lang. Another, okay, same problem tayo. So, paano naman kapag if 40 randomly selected college student, or uh, senior high school student rather, palitan natin. Okay, again, if 40 randomly selected senior high school student take the examination. So, what is the 
probability that the mean time it takes the group to complete the test will be less than 45 minutes. So, meron na bago, meron tayong sample size dito na 40. Okay, so write the given data. First, the population mean, so di nagbago yung population natin, it's 48.2, and the standard deviation, di rin nagbago, and that is uh, 7, that should be 4. Okay, so, ang problem natin, yung standard deviation, or yung population standard deviation natin is 7. And then, the sample mean meron tayong 45 minutes, and then yung N natin is 40, that is the sample size. So, ibig sabihin, uh, what is asked for this uh, problem? Kukunin natin yung probability that the sample mean is less than 45 minutes. So, what is the formula na gagamitin natin dito? Since given yung sample mean, yung formula na gagamitin natin is yung pung Z distribution. Okay? Ito yung gagamitin natin ngayong formula. So, to compute the Z value, substitute lang natin. Lahat ng given data dito. So, that is 45 minus 48.2 divide 7 over square root of 40. And that is equivalent or equal to negative 2.89. So, paano natin makuha yung, uh, paano natin kukunin yung area ni negative 2.89. So, gagamitin nyo ulit yung say table natin. So, gamit yung say table natin. So, the corresponding area ni negative 2.89 is 0 0.4981. So, pwede nyo yan i-check. 0 0.4981. So, gamit yung kapag renap natin, yung 0.4981 na yan, or since ang nakalagay pala dito is less than, kapag renap natin less than negative 2.89, so ganito lang kaliit no, yung graph natin. So, ano ang gagawin natin? So, magma-minus tayo from 0.5. So, 0.5 minus 0.4981, that is the... Uh, the probability na makakuha natin is 0 0.0019. Ganito lang kaliit. So, therefore, uh, the probability that 40 randomly selected senior high school students will complete the test in less than 45 minutes is 0.19%. So, ganun kababa. 0.19% lang. Okay? Another example. Okay. If randomly selected, if 30 naman randomly selected, that the college students take the examination, what is the probability that the mean time it takes the group to complete the test will be more than 45 minutes. So, dito more than 45 minutes naman. So, the given uh, population mean is 48.2. And then, the population standard deviation is 7. And the sample mean is 45 and the sample size is 30. So, using the formula, so ang hinahanap natin is yung x where the sample mean is greater than 45. Okay? Greater than 45. So, ano yung probability na makuha natin na greater than 45? And then the formula, of course, ito yung gagamitin natin since given yung sample mean natin. So, Substitute the given data sa formula natin. That is 45 minus 48.2 divide 7 over square root of 30. And that is equal to negative 2.50. So, gamit yung Z table natin, ang equivalent area ni negative 2.50 is 0 0.4938. So, kapag renap natin, so ang sabi kasi that is more than more than, so more than negative 2.5. So, nandito yung negative 2.5 natin, more than, so papuntang right yung graph natin. So, ganito kalaki yung area no, na more than or greater than negative 2.5 or yung area greater than 45. So, therefore, so anong gagawin natin? Kung ganito kalaki yung area, minus ba natin kay 0.5 ito, yung nakuha natin corresponding area ng negative 2.5? Or mag add 0.5 tayo? Yes, mag add 0.5 tayo. So, that is 0.5 plus 0.4938 
the answer is 0.9938. So therefore, uh, the probability nito that 30 randomly selected senior high school students will complete the test in more than 45 minutes is 99.38%. Another, okay, so kapag, so if 45 randomly selected college, uh, senior high school student to take the examination, what is the probability that the mean time it takes the group to complete the test is between 49.1 and 51 minutes. So, meron tayong dalawang sample mean. The population mean is 48.2, the population standard deviation is 7, and then the two sample mean, meron tayong dalawang sample mean, which is 49.1 and 51 minutes. And then the sample size is 45. So, first, kukunin natin between 49.1 and 51. So, para makuha natin, use the formula. So, unahin muna natin yung sample mean natin na 49.1. And that is 49.1 minus 48.2 divide 7 over square root of 45. And that is equal to 0 0.86 or equivalent to 0.86. Yung pangalawa... Yung sample mean natin 51, that is 51 minus 48.2 divide 7 over square root of 45. So, that is equivalent to 2.68. So, meron tayong dalawang Z value dito, then same yung sign nila. So, anong gagawin natin para makuha yung area nito? So, kapag same sign, yung corresponding area nilang dalawa ay minus natin. Okay? So, ganun lagi. Kapag same sign, yung Z value natin, ang corresponding area nila, isusubtract natin. So, gamit yung Z uh, table nyo, kunin natin yung corresponding area ni 0.86 and that is 0.3051. And then yung corresponding area ni 2.68 naman, that is 0.4963. So, kapag linap natin yan, ito yun. So, kapag linap natin, ito yung, uh, yung shaded yan, yung area between... Uh, 49.1 and 51. So, therefore, uh, the probability makuha natin that x is greater than 49.1 but less than 51 is 0 0.1912. So, minus natin. Kapag ganito class, kapag nagsasubtract kayo, dapat laging mauna yung mas mataas na value. Okay? Yung mataas ang value para hindi kayo magkaroon ng negative sign. So, 0.4963 minus 0 0.3051, the answer is 0 0.1912. And that is the, so, the probability na makakuha tayo, that 30, 30 randomly selected senior high school students will complete the test between 49.1 and 51 minutes is 19.12%. Okay, I'll give you five questions to test yourself. So, kagaya ng mga nakalang video lesson, i-post nyo after kung ipakita yung limang tanong. So, number one, the GPAs of all students enrolled at a large university have an approximately normal distribution with a mean of 3.05 and a standard deviation of 0.29. Find the probability that the mean GPA of a random sample of 20 students selected from this university is less than 2.98. Letter A, 12.58%. B, 14.01%. Percent rather. Letter C, 15.62%. And letter D, 85.23%. Okay, for number 2. The GPA of all students enrolled at large. So, same uh, question sa number 1. Ang nabago lang dito is, uh, of a random sample of 20 students selected from this unit is greater than 3.01. Okay, so ito greater than naman. That is greater than, not than. Greater than 3.01. So, letter A, 19.32%. Letter B, 22.41%. Letter C, 55.56%. And letter D, 73.24%. Okay, so the answer... Okay, question number three. How about if 
that is between 2.90 and 3.07. So, same lang yung problem ng question 1, 2, and 3. Nagbago lang dito, no? So, the sample of 20 students selected from this university is between 2.90 and 3.07. Letter A, 62.17%. B, 61.13%. Letter C, 42.34%. And letter D, 1.04%. Okay, for question number 4, assume that the uh, woman's height are normally distributed with a mean given by population mean 62.3 inches and a standard deviation of 1.8 inches. If a woman is randomly selected, find the probability that her height is between 61.7 inches and 62.7 inches. So first, letter A, 20.75%, B, 72%, letter C, 21.64%, and letter D, 86.65%. Number five, okay, so same problem sa question number four, but if a sample of 16 Women is selected, what is the probability that the mean of a sample will be larger than 63.2 inches? So, dapat mas mataas sa 63.2 inches. So, letter A, 19.32%. B, 15.56%. Letter C, 4.75%. And letter D, 2.28%. So, pwede nyo i-post yung video, sa kanyo lang i I-play kapag gusto nyo na makita yung answer key. Okay, so ito yung tamang sagot. Number 1, letter B. Number 2, letter D. 3, letter B. 4, C. And 5, letter B. Okay, if you get 5 out of 5, congratulations in advance. So, you may share your score sa comment section ng video lesson na to. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell button para updated kayo for more video tutorial. This is your guide in learning your math lesson, your Wow Math channel.